Okay, you two friends. I got one thing I gotta do before I do the alignment. And I totally forgot about all this. But these voltages that Philco says to check, I'm gonna check all of them out. And it'll take a little bit of time, but this will tell me whether or not I have any resistors that I didn't replace that are changing. And, um,. You know, because the, the plate voltages and the grid voltages, they're all determined by the, uh, the resistors and how well they're in spec. So, uh, and they also tell whether the radio is going to operate right. So they say 115 volt input. And I already measured the, uh, the input here. The input capacitor, and, and it's 115 AC on the money. And I got my meter here. It's still the same. That's that's where the 115 point is. And I got about 1.1 amps. That's about the same. Now it says to turn the turn the station of the turn it off frequency. So I did that and lower the volume. So I got that. I'm gonna go start going through it. And got my my meter here and uh, let me tell you I always use the isolation transformer and I, I got a wooden <laughs> uh, just my safety things I got a I'm sitting on a wooden bench on a, on a rubber mat and uh, I got the the ground lead already connected to the chassis which isn't really ground this is the that floating ground kind of thing they got but you measure the voltage with respect to the chassis and then uh, one hand, just one hand now. I'm not going to touch anything else. I'm just going to go through with one hand and check the voltages out. So, so here we go. Here's our, starting here, 6L6 output tubes. So it says the plate, P's are for the plate, so that's 290 volts. S, I guess, is for the screen grid. It says S, so that's 300 volts. That's for each tube. They're both the same because it's push-pull. So let's see here. Got to get in this corner here. That's the plate. It should be... Better be 290. Yep. There it is. 280... I don't know why it's moving there. Got to get it on there. Here it is. 285. 287. It's pretty doggone close to 290. I'll take it. And, and the S for, I guess, the screen grid should be 300. 296. It's good. I like it. Let's try the, let's try the other one. Go. Let's see, it's, it's over here. So they want 290, 289, 290. It's it's great. It's perfect. It's unreal. The S 296. They want 300. I like it. Uh, let's try another one here. So audio driver. I'm just working backwards. Audio driver. 260 volts on the plate. Uh, let's see. That's in that diagonal left-hand corner. Let's try it. Uh, here. What they say? 260? 250. Uh, close enough. I'll take it. Uh, let's see here. Should I keep going? Or should I keep pushing my luck? Discriminator. Now one thing about the discriminator, I think that the voltages could change on here. I have to do the alignment to adjust the voltages. So let's see 
Oh, they don't even tell you what it is. They don't tell you what it's supposed to be. I'm looking at it. They don't they don't say the voltages for the discriminator. Let's try another one. Let's try this first audio. First audio plate should be 70 volts. Uh, this is here. Is that? I just got to double check this here. Plate is 70 volts. Looks like it's here. Okay. Okay, they got 66 volts on the plate. It's cool, huh? Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go through here, check the voltages. Some of them I can't check. Discriminator, they don't tell you what it is. AVC, they don't tell you because that kind of varies. Magnetic tuning, I don't think I could check those now because you got to align it and then align the magnetic tuning. So you got to do that last. So, uh, but I'm just going to check the ones I can check. What does this say here? RF, the RF amp tube. Let's see, that's above the, let's see, can I even get to that? Now I can't even get to that, you know, because it's buried underneath the coil, see? So, forget that one. And then the mixer, nah, I can't get to that one. Let's see, the oscillator plate is 225 volts. Wow, plate's 225, the grid is 90. Oh, they have two plates in here. Let's see, you have a, one plate is 225, one's 240, and one's 90. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we get. Let's see, oscillator, plate 225. Yeah. Yeah. A little less, got about 196. All right, grid is the next one down. Like getting it? Doesn't look right. Getting a negative volt. I'm getting like a negative 15 on the oscillator grid. The next step. Next step should be 90. 90 is another plate. Should be 90. I got 80. Next one over should be 240. Getting 214. So I like these voltages to be within 10%, but I don't understand why it says 90 volts for the screen and it wasn't 90 volts. That's pretty interesting, eh? Oh wait, mate. There it is. I got 80. I guess I wasn't on good. Okay, cool. It's a 90 volts for the screen. Okay, and I got 79. Okay, that's cool. I guess I wasn't on good. Okay, I think they're close enough. Because we had, um, check it one more time here. We had this plate here. Should be 225, and I got about 200. It's about 25 volts low. Next one should be 90, getting 80. Next one should be two, 240, I'm getting 214. 
So let's see, it was 10%. That will be... It's a little less than 10%, isn't it? Like 240 minus uh, 24. So it's a little less. But I think it's what it is is what it is, you know? What I'm looking for if something's like really high, if it's like high out of whack or something. So if the plate's a little lower than what it should be, I don't really care about that too much. It's the oscillator. And it's definitely oscillating because the radio's working. So a little little less on the plate. I'm actually kind of happy about that because it's actually better for the tube. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going through it. What I could get. I got the oscillator control. It's a little tough to get into. I may not be able to get that one. So I got a couple more. I'm running out of time, but that's what I'm doing. But um, the AVC I can't check. And a magnetic tuning, I can't check those yet because um, you got to align it. So um, that's it, folks. Have a great day. Bye.